we're going to look at two things. So the article you read was talking about joint positioning error. So knowing where your head is in space, right? The other thing we're going to look at is your ability to control the head as it moves through space, right? So let me have you sit on the end facing the board up here. So you'll see there are targets that are... So, there are these targets, and um, we'll, we'll post a copy of this on the Blackboard or Canvas, or whatever it's called now. So, and it has and some instructions at the bottom, too, that tells you like, how to set everything up. But basically, what you want is to have the person 90 centimeters away from the wall, so about three feet. So, you're probably a little, come up a little bit closer, you're probably a little bit closer. So basically you want kind of their, their nose to be over about that, at that 90 yeah. mark, right? And so we're going to start out with the target in front of him, sitting in just a nice upright posture, and close your eyes for a moment. And he's going to close his eyes so he's not looking at the target. I'm going to turn the laser on, and I'm going to find out where is center for him, right? So you just hold still. And move the target to the center. Okay, now open your eyes. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to start out with the laser in the center point here. And then when I tell you, you're going to close your eyes. You're going to look as far as you can to the left and back, keeping your eyes closed. And once, you, once you're back and you're stopped, open your eyes and then we'll see where the laser is. And I'm gonna I'm gonna mark and I can use a pen. If you have I've seen people put it on a cork board uh, and then use like push pins to mark it. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, so any way that you can, any way that you can kind of mark where it is. Some people use post-its. I don't know if that might not be a good economical use of post-its. You can use different numbers of, of how many. I typically use between five and ten. Um, usually, for testing purposes, I'll use five, uh, just to you know to get an average of how much error there is on there. So we're gonna start out in the middle, okay? Now close your eyes, look to the left as far as you can, and then back to the middle. And then open your eyes. Wow. Close your eyes. Amazing. Back to the middle. Back to the middle. Close your eyes. <laughs> 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 so you do that about, about five times. What's normal is within this four and a half degrees. So this white circle, the outside of that. Anything inside of there is good. Anything outside of there is there might be some positioning error problems. Um, it's also at, at at 90 centimeters, it's seven centimeters is the, the distance from the middle of the circle to this four and a half degree mark is seven centimeters. If you're further away, obviously that number gets bigger because it's So you can do side, you can do the sides, you can do up and down with it. And you're going to look at, and that's what's nice to look at is overall, you, know, you might find someone who is... So if this is our seven centimeter circle, let's say. You might find someone that their ups are in here, and their downs are here. And then the right are maybe here, and then the lefts are like way out here, right? So they only have one like one direction that they're really off on. Or it could be, you know, some combination of those things. It might be multiple directions, it might be all of them all over the place. So that's 
So from, from an assessment standpoint, and from a training standpoint, you essentially just do that you know, multiple times. So how would you dose this kind of exercise? What would you be dosing for? Coordination. Yeah, coordination. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of reps. Okay. Uh, one of the things that people have done at, at home for like an exercise at home if they don't have a laser, um, I mean, certainly you can, you can get lasers, keep them in the clinic and sell them. I mean, that's an option. You can give people the address to order them. It takes a couple weeks to come in, so plan ahead on that. Um, or one of the other things people will do is take a, uh, a cheap pair of sunglasses and tape them out so that there's only a very small um, hole in the center. And so then what you want to what, what, what do you want to have them do is they you know, they have a target at home you can put you know, again a poster or something on the wall that is small put it on the wall and then they turn their head and then try to come back and if they can see the if they can see whatever that target is inside good successful motion if they can't see it then they were you know off 